The island of Sodor is a wonderful place. Thomas was puffing down the line towards the yards. The island of Sodor has many engines with many different unique personalities. They're all over the place. You'll see one. Hey Thomas! Hey Percy! What's up Thomas? Hey James! Oh hello! Hello Gordon! Hello Henry! Hello! Finally here, said Thomas, and buff it up to Annie and Clarabelle. said Thomas. What was that? I think, said James, that Spencer's up to no good again. He's one of those engines that, you know, goes around the island at high speeds trying to show off like Gordon. Well, at least I don't show off too much. And I'm not too slow like those pesky little tank engines. Pesky little tank engines. Are you judging us by our size? I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Sorry, Thomas, but it's kind of true. Us bigger engines are much stronger and faster than you little engines. We can do anything any day. You guys just struggle. Pa, said Thomas, I will prove to you guys that little engines can be as strong as big engines any day. And he puffed away. Thomas arrived at Napford where he met up with Toby. Hello, Toby, he said. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Thomas. I'm just here waiting for, um, uh, um, uh, I, I don't even know. I guess I'm just here because I can be here. Uh, so why you ask what I'm doing here? It's because the bigger engines keep saying us little pesky tank engines can't do anything and that we always struggle and that we're not as fast and strong as them. Uh, well, I find that to be highly incorrect. Us engines are extremely equal and they should be knowing that. They're just trying to tease you, Thomas. I have one word of advice. Just ignore them. And Toby puffed away. I can assure Toby I am not going to do nothing about it and just ignore it. I'm going to do something, and that something will be pretty extreme. But first, I'm going to have to gather some other tank engines. Thomas soon rushed into the yard, but saw Gordon and Edward blocking his path. Get out of my way, he said. No, said Gordon. I'm not going to get out of your way. You go away! But I don't want to, said Thomas. I need to get through. Too bad, said Gordon. Go away, punk. Thomas was extremely cross. You can't call me a punk, you jerk. I thought I told you to go away. Thomas felt very surprised. I've never been yelled at like that before. Gordon, please get out of the way, he said. No, now go away, said Gordon. I have declined your access. Thomas waited and waited for Gordon to say more, but he didn't. Go away! Uh, okay, said Thomas. 
and he puffed away sadly. James, buffer him, said Gordon. Now you, Edward. Now I've got you trapped right where I want you. But why would you want me trapped here? So did my two tender engines. We heard your little plan about gathering all the other tank engines and telling us wrong, but we stopped you. Oh, and not only that, but we also know that you're the one who started this big war of the big engines and the small engines. No, you've got the wrong engine. Hold on, let's think of who really started this. Uh, <gasps> Spencer. Don't you remember when Spencer, like, rushed by me super fast? Then James was talking about engines who show off like Gordon, which is you. And then after that, you were all like, I'm not like those pesky little tank engines. <laughs> That's how it all started. Let's get that Spencer engine. I mean, yeah, you get the point. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye. No, not bye. Uh, cut.